Good afternoon to all my wonderful viewers out there. Welcome back to another unboxing video. I know, two in one day. <laughs> so many unboxing videos to do, but it's because a lot landed on Friday and well, it has to get unboxed on the channel. What I'm going to be unboxing today is a very hard to come by piece, a vintage piece at that. What I'm going to be unboxing is a 1998 Jeff Hamilton Chicago Bulls three-peat repeat championship jacket. I know guys, <laughs> two in less than a week and a half, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed, but I love them. I absolutely love them. So what I have for us here today is another Jeff Hamilton jacket. We recently dived into who Jeff Hamilton was in the last Jeff ha Hamilton unboxing video. Uh, so I don't think I really dive into that too much today, but what I'm gonna be unboxing today is one of the jackets used to celebrate the second three-peat that the Chicago Bulls got in the 90s, which ended with the 97 to 98 championships here. And I'm gonna be unboxing a 3XL leather jacket that Jeff Hamilton made to celebrate that second three-peat there. Very exciting stuff. This thing weighs in at 2.5 kilos. It's gonna be a heavy leather jacket. It's actually going to be a little bit heavier than the last one that we unboxed, which was 2.2 kilos, because the last one that we unboxed was an extra large. This is a 3XL. So this one's going to be a little bit oversized on me, but I kind of like that with Jeff Hamilton jackets. That's kind of the way to go. But that's enough speaking on it, guys. Let's unbox this uh, repeat, repeat 1998 vintage leather jacket. It's such a huge box, but I suppose his jackets were always really big. Now, yeah, guys, I've, I'm a huge fan of Jeff Hamilton jackets, as you know, and I'm always on the search for more of them, as well as more of them uh, with uh, that are celebrating like championships and stuff like that. I think those ones are the ones with the most time and effort put into them, and they're the ones that I just really like because the applique detailing on the back of them is just the best. Now I'm just trying to get this open. This tape is very heavy duty tape, obviously to keep the jacket secure because it's traveling halfway across the world. All these jackets I'm basically picking up off eBay off a lot of Americans um, because obviously Americans bought them at the games and you know, it's just, it's more likely that you'd pick up a Jeff Hamilton jacket uh, secondhand from someone in America than other places in the world. Maybe Japan because Japan loves American culture. So there might be some of them that are in Japan but I can't really see you unless there's fans in Europe of you guys picking them up from someone in Europe but I could be wrong there could be a collector of Jeff Hamilton jackets in Europe hell there's a collector of them right here in Australia so you know where I guess it's all the way around the world there's love for Jeff Hamilton jackets let's oh my god this tape is some heavy duty stuff guys okay here we go are we ready you can see some of it already. You can see the iconic logo. Let's get this bad boy out and unbox it. So, look at that. Look at that. Look just like, look at that. <laughs> that is insane. That artwork right there, all leather, all embroidered. Wow, I'm gonna take it out. Let's get it out of the box. Jesus, it is, it's gonna be a big one as well because it's a 3XL. We got uh, nothing else in the box. So, the front of the jacket simply just says bulls in the uh, applique there. So that's all pieces of leather embroidered onto the front of the piece. So I'll just bring that up to the camera and showcase that quite quickly. I love it that there's all these different colored, colored, uh, colored, colored leather strips going along the jacket here. And then on the back, we just get this huge, huge logo, or huge three-peat, repeat um, design on the back. Now, the reason that this one was a little bit cheaper than the rest of them was because this uh, Eastern Conference logo down here, it has been beaten up a little bit. You can see the wear and tear on the applique and embroidery on that. But I thought, you know what, the three-peat, repeat logo there on the arm, that one held out pretty well. The back graphic has held out really, really well. So I kind of thought for the price that I paid, it was a good price. Now, <laughs> this is going to be massive, but let's try it on and see how this jacket looks on body. 
here it is showcased here guys so a lot more biker themed than your traditional um jeff hamilton jackets as it has a zip going up it and it's not buttoned as much there's only two buttons down the bottom and one button up the top the collar can be flipped up though to have a reversible color there you can have red around the collar or you can have it how i'm probably going to have it where the collar's out like this we have the patches on the side that say nba final 1998 here jeff hamilton's logo down here or jh we have on the right arm we have the quite distressed eastern conference patch here and then the 98 finals one here obviously bulls across the chest here you can kind of hide it with the with how the opening of the jacket works turning around we have all the leather patches we have all the leather like strips coming together and that 97 to 98 look or that logo on the back there where it says repeat repeat it's awesome i absolutely love it exactly what i wanted and it's another one that's definitely going to the going in uh, gonna go into the collection of jeff hamilton jackets and chicago bulls jackets it's just awesome leather i can't like for 1998 it's held up pretty damn well and the fit's actually really cool as well it works really well it's just a really sick jacket love the use of materials love the applique design on the back it's awesome i want to hear from you guys though would you wear something like this is this a kind of jacket you would wear or do you like his other jeff hamilton jackets that he's done which are a little bit more colorful have a little bit more applique on it or do you like this one because it's more toned down and it's only got little bits of color here and there i want to hear all your thoughts and opinions on this vintage chicago bulls jeff hamilton 98 championship jacket down in that comment section below that's it guys there it is the 1998 chicago bulls jeff hamilton vintage leather jacket repeat repeat <laughs> it's sick um there are other ones that released as well i would love to pick some of them up but they are really hard to come by people want thousands of dollars for them and yeah it's just unlikely that i'm going to be able to get an extra large a 2xl or a 3xl in them for a good price that was the whole appeal of this one was that this one was like very cheap in comparison it was only a couple hundred versus the other ones that are a couple thousand so thank god i managed to pick up this one guys i want to hear how you feel about it uh down in that comment section below though and of course if you guys want me to keep doing unboxing videos keep covering jeff hamilton releases because he is releasing new jackets now these days don't forget to leave a big old like on this video a comment in the comment section down below and a subscribe to the channel as we are trying to aim for a new milestone this month of 2760 subscribers hopefully with your support we can reach there we only need like five subs guys let's do it let's try and hit 2760 before the end of the month but that's everything i gotta say about this vintage jeff hamilton uh 1998 repeat repeat jacket guys so until the next unboxing video until the next streetwear talk video until the next jeff hamilton video guys I'll catch you later.